Hello friends, welcome back to my Afok YouTube channel. Hope so you are good. Friends, most of Google Chrome users must have faced the issue. This site can't be reached error. Don't worry, from today you will not face this problem anymore. The cause of this error is that DNS lookup failed. So the web page is not available. In this video, I'll give 5 methods to solve the problem. So watch the whole video because you don't know which method will work for you. And if you didn't subscribe my YouTube channel, please subscribe now. And I'm coming to you after intro my friends. Friends, method 1 restart DNS clients. For this, you can open run, then you can write here services.msc, then you can press enter. In another way, you can write, you can go in Windows dialog box here, then you can write services. This one, my friend, you have to click on here. Then you have to come in DNS clients. You have to scroll down. This one, my friend, you have to select this one. Then you have to click right button of your mouse. Then you have to click restart. See, my friends, one window has been popped up, right? So after restart, you have to close the window. Then you have to reboot your system. Then you can check your Google Chrome has been fixed or not. If it is not, you can go in method two. Method two is change IPv4 DNS address. For this, you have to go in control panel. Then you have to go network and internet. Now you have to click network and sharing center. Now you have to click on left side change adapter settings. This one my friend. Now you have to select your internet connection. Now you have to click right button of your mouse. Then you have to click on properties. Then from here you have to select internet protocol version 4 tcp slash ipv4 then you have to click on properties now the first one obtain an ip address automatically it will be like this my friend don't touch here but in second one you have to select this one my friend use the following dns server address you have to select this one then you have to write here if you are DNS server, you have to write here 8, then 8, then 8, then 8. And alternate DNS server, you have to write 8, then 8, then 4, then 4. And you have to give the check mark here, the validate settings upon exit. Then you have to click on OK, my friend. Then you have to close the window. See my friend, Windows detecting the problem automatically and it will solve automatically also. So you have to wait few minutes. Now you have to close this one. Now you have to reboot your system. Then you can check your Google Chrome browser it has been fixed or not. If it is not, you have to go on method 3. Friends, method 3 is reset TCP IP. For this you have to go in command prompt. You have to go in Windows dialog box. Then you have to write CMD. This one my friend. Then you have to click right button of your mouse. Then you have to click on run as administrator. Then user account control, it will ask you to take the permission. You have to click on yes. Friends, then you will get interface like this my friend. Now you have to give 6 comments. Don't worry, I'll write in description box my friend. You can check over there. The first one is IP config. Slash release then you have to press enter lots of things will pop up don't worry my friends and again you have to type ipconfig slash all a double l then you have to press enter and again you have to type here ipconfig slash flash dns f l u s h d n s then you have to press enter see my friend successfully flashed the dns resolver cache right 
so I have to give another three comments again I have to type ipconfig slash renew r e n e w then press enter you have to wait few minutes now you have to type n e t s h space i n t space i p space s e t space d n s this one my friend now i have to press enter the last one i'll type now i have to type n e t s h space winsock w i n s o c k winsock space reset r e s e t then you have to press enter see my friend what is written here successfully reset the winsock catalog you must restart the computer in order to complete the reset now i have to close the window then i have to reboot the system after restart your computer you can check your google chrome has been fixed or not if it is not you can go in method 4 my friends friends method 4 is reset google chrome settings for this you have to go in google chrome browser then you have to open a new tab then you have to type chrome chrome colon slash slash then flags f l a g s then again slash then you have to press enter my friends see my friends after pressing enter you will get a warning so don't worry about this you have to press reset all here my friend then it will reset automatically my friends I'm not doing this because my Google Chrome browser is working my friend. So friends after reset all you have to restart your computer then you have to check your Google Chrome browser it has been fixed or not. If it is not you have to go in method 5 my friends. Method 5 is reinstall Google Chrome browser my friend. Friends all the problem of Google Chrome browser it will be solved here because you have to reinstall the Google Chrome browser. Friends for this you have to go in control panel. Then you have to go in programs, then you have to go programs and features. Then you have to uninstall the Google Chrome, which has been installed in your computer. You have to click on uninstall, then you have to give check mark here, then you have to click on yes. Friends, after that you have to restart your computer, then you have to download a latest version of Google Chrome browser. Then you have to install it. Now you can check, your, all the problem will be solved. Friends, still if you have any question you can ask me in comment box. I'll try to give answer as soon as possible my friends. Friends, hope so you enjoyed the video. If this video helpful to you, please like, share, comment and especially subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you so much my friend. Take care.